Most of you have seen that haul video I uploaded a month back, right? No? Shit, I was really banking on that. Dumpy! Roll the clip. Most of the stuff was crap, but there were a couple of what I consider hidden gems mixed in. The big kahuna of which, do people still say that? was the NES. I didn't know if it worked or not, but whatever. It can't be that hard to get working again. Can it? <laughs> the amazing Randall! First off, I wanted to see if I could get it to play at all. No sense in tearing a console apart just to tear it apart. That would be silly. <laughs> GameCube! <clears throat> what? So I used a can of compressed air to blow out any loose dust and gunk that might be in there. I mean, I just got it from an old lady at the swap meet. And she only had it because it was left in a closet in the house she moved into. I didn't want to get super cancer by blowing into a strange console. So I fired it up and nada. I tried popping the game pack in and out a few times to maybe get a better contact to the pins, but no such luck. Gotta try something else. Oh, that is the nasty. There's creatures living inside it. Now obviously I did a bit more detailed cleaning than what you saw, but as you can see, it yielded results. For a time. But then what I saw next kind of scared the crap out of me. Try explaining that. I mean, that, that looks freaking terrifying. So, I tore into it a little bit more, because why not? Eventually I came to the right conclusion, which was the, uh, which was to replace the 72 pin connector, because the inside of that bastard was corroded as shit.
Huzzah! It plays. I mean, it... Not perfectly. There's those weird little vertical lines in a couple spots that... At the time, I thought, uh... Maybe I did that by accidentally pressing on the pin connector. I'm not quite sure about that. And you'll see later that there's some kind of weird... I don't know what to call it. Ghosting going on? That little bit of ghosting is annoying, but... Uh, but in the long run, it's a working NES console. It could use a little bit of tweaking here and there. And... I'd be lying if I said that I was going to leave it as is. So... With the right parts, I might just be able to make it into something really great. Well, I tried to make this entertaining for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze. Later!